Hello guys, what is up? It, it is Rob here, bringing you guys the draft, the off season, and the preseason for season two. So, if you guys are ready for this um, episode, please be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So, I have an upload and a I know, like, in a few days. There is a reason why, and that is because I'm working on a content review video. Now, you might be thinking, well, well what is a con uh, content video, uh, content review? Well, content review, basically, we're going to look at various different topics, and then we're going to take a player, a, a topic, I'm gonna write a full script with a bunch of research and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna make a video about it. So like it's gonna involve a lot of chit chat, so I'm gonna have a guy um edit my video in the terms of like using my uh videos as if for clips and then adding a bunch of other stuff in. Like when it comes to like preseason, regular season, and then postseason. So, like, basically, the way the content here works is that um, I would say all the facts and evidence as much as I could possibly get, and then I would uh, give my own opinion, ask some questions. As you can see right there, I drafted Valerie Ovechkin, who might be the son of Alex Ovechkin. So, here's the thing that I have noticed over the past, like, this past few episodes, is that I've been learning how to do a bunch of stuff for you guys and with you guys as a whole, so that way I can be like, okay, this makes sense, this does make sense. So, the Bernie B Aces are going to get a massive, massive upgrade when it comes to this draft, because, like, right here, I got, like, a Wayne O'Neal, and the reason why I've been drafting a bunch of guys, like, and we got in, like, so many, like, like trades like offerings and stuff so like that's what i declined so i also like primarily focus on russians even though i have to do like an american right there like russian at, uh hockey players so right here let's say i got garrett garrett patterson for example like, like, the thing is, is that I was simming to the user every single time. And I gotta say for myself, like, I think I made the right choices. Like, Valerie Ovechkin, who's a defenseman. I actually got a plan on him moving, like, moving up, like, getting called up immediately. Because I think he has some potential. So what I'm actually going to do, because I plan on having an undefeated season in, like, this next season, is that I will try, and I'm saying this honestly, I will have Valerie Ovention in. So then here, I drafted a guy from who knows what, uh, from where, what, and... That is our draft. It isn't the best by any means, but we have prospects. Now, we go to the re-sign phase. Now, scouts with uh, buying contracts. So, like, I have to sign a bunch of guys in order to, like, get some guys. So, like, right there, I got a franchise exact and an elite exact. And then, um, I looked at, like, the stars, like, how good they are, 
And I was like, Carlson. And I thought, like, he would be a good defenseman. And then I got, uh, I offered a contract to Zedano Shara. Because, like, we're trying to build up a good defense. And I was planning on making some trades and stuff like that. Because, like, I wanted to um, do that. I offered a contract to Kyle Connor. Um, I then add, uh, um, offered a contract. No, I didn't offer a contract to that guy. I offered a contract to Jeff Skinner. Then I offered a contract to Anders Lee. So, so far, I offered, like, Six contracts. Uh, Doug, Doug T. Now I was hesitant on offering a contract on this guy because if it's an RFA, you have to give up picks. And as you can see, we send to the first preseason game. I actually like simulated so that way I could play like uh like uh I would play it like uh so I showed the team Nick it uh Lazaro Nick Bonino Jesper Faust Kyle Connor who we got Patrick Berglund Jeff Skinner Yanni Gorday Anders Lee Boy, like Stefan Nielsen, uh, Tyler Pitlick, who's on the fourth line, Andrew Shaw, Brock McGinn. Now we switch over to defense. Giordano, who I am going to trade. Manson, Larson, Myers, Forbort, and Petrovic. Connor Murphy and another guy were. Scratch anyway. So we have Michael Raffle, Aquete, Dalpe, Riot, DeLeo, um, Morton, uh, Gormit Morris, Cannon and uh, Holmberg, Lethanen, Carlson, um, and Kersher. Now these are the scratched guys, as you can see right here. These are basically all the scratched. And Connor Murphy and Brett Connolly are the scratched. One right wing for some reason. So then I go back to starting lineups. And I basically show like what I want to do. Um Connor Murphy. I really wanted to have Connor Murphy in the lineup, and Jordana, oh my god, like, he's been a complete idiot so far. Like, even though I'm using this guy, like, it's been a complete nightmare. So, like, I don't know what to say. Um, so, zero, and then three, five, and then four, five. So, I thought I had to step in, but you know what? It's all good. So then, I, I then wanted to simulate to the Ottawa Senators game. So, that's what I did. The Ottawa Senators are a pretty good team, somehow, in this game. So, so far, by the time we get to the last regular, like, reg the preseason game, the last preseason game, we're like 5-1. And Ottawa Senators are one three one one. That is insane. And like I can't even believe my eyes. So I checked the calendar and now I check this. And here we go. Um I personally decided to do like this game full period actually. Because, like, 
I, I, I think it deserved that. We're the defending champions, Stanley Cup champions, and I am willing to try a three-peat um, after this, which has only been done a few times in NHL history, um, which is pretty insane. And then I had like a second controller for some reason. So, like, that was a little bit awkward, but you know what? That doesn't matter, because Boninho is a beast. So, uh, Lazarev, um, and the boys are trying to, like, uh, do something. I actually use Skill Stick this game. So, that is a pretty interesting move that I did. Um, so then I realized right trigger is, like, Passing and when you use the uh, 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 analog stick on the Xbox, uh, if you push it forward, it would shoot. Also, it would be like X, I think. I couldn't do like some of the classic moves I produced because like it wouldn't work for some reason. So like, there we go, right here. Case in point. So, another thing I might want to do is like certain challenges. Like, I I know I've done many crazy challenges back in my time. Like the goalie. Like um, I want to do challenges. I really want to do challenges. It's just that I need like certain time and everything. And it's so hard to play with a skill stick. It's really frustrating because, like, you can easily give up a goal with the, like, skill stick if you don't even know what you're doing. And me, I like buttons because, like, like, the buttons on the control Xbox controller. Because, like, if you use hybrid controllers, and as you can see, we scored a goal with skill stick controllers. It doesn't run up. But, like, it doesn't really matter, but like, what matters is that um, Skinner like won it. But like, what matters is that for me, I use hybrid controls, which like it's a mix between Skill Stick and NHL '94. Um, basically, what would happen is that I would be able to use certain skill controls. Like, good ones. Like, B, this is hybrid only. B, B button would be slap shot. A would be pass. X would be shoot. And there's no, like, button for Y on offense, I think. But, like, the right bumper would be a saucer pass. The right analog, uh, the right, right, uh, um, Trigger would be like acceleration boost. Left trigger would be like a spin around thing. Uh, the left bumper, I don't know. Left analog stick, if you push it down and and you move forward uh, at the same time, if you push down um, the left analog stick or the right analog stick and you move it with right uh, the analog stick, the right one. You can it has hustles, which is actually a pretty good move. Now on defense, if you move with your right analog stick into the player, it creates a big hit. If you do the right bumper, it's a poke check. Um, now if you do left and right bumper, it would actually be called a dive block. If you do a left bumper, it would be like like crouch block, a B button would be a body check. Um, like there's so many different ways I can do it. Like that's the windmill D where you press the L B button and then you like using it right in a long stick. And that's the saucer pass. No, that's the pass. And then chop talk. I don't even know what that is. <sighs> uh, 
And then, like, right there, I got a big hit. Um, LB, and then you do, like, like, it's hard to explain because, like, yeah, hyper controls. I like hyper controls. It's my preference and everything. So, anyway, we're here in the second period. Um, one uh, all, one O. Oh, and here we are. And we, we managed to, like, survive, like, on one goal scored so far. Which is, um, pretty insane. Excuse me. So, I go into settings, and I decide, you know what? I am going to go hybrid on semi-pro and show what I can do, because I am not going to deal with this. Because the problem is with the skill stick is that you need expert you need to be an expert on NHL regardless if you have been playing it has to be like a choice like you can do skill stick and get better or you can do skill, skill stick and gradually get better as you can see Lee and Smith are getting into a fight there have been many fights in this game so, so far like Two fights previously. I don't know what it is like, and we won. So another thing about the NHL uh, in this game that I've actually learned is that if you throw a punch, like if you use right analog stick, I, I'm talking in terms of X, Xbox. So I use the Xbox controller. If you use a right analog stick and you push forward, it would punch the guy in the face in a forward motion, but if you uh, do the analog, right analog stick backward, it would do like a uppercut um, to the face. And apparently, uppercuts, like using the right analog stick, like uh, pushing back on an analog stick, right analog stick is the, like, the best way. So like here, it's an open fist fight, and then they hold on to each other, and, uh, yeah, that, that yeah, that's ha that happened, and I am pretty surprised, like, this is uh, happening, because, like, um, I just don't think this is the right thing at this moment, because, like, that's not how it is. So, here we go. Uh, Larson tries to score a goal. I always, like, want to hit a guy, like, just for fun. But at the end of the day, my, I never want to cause a fight, really, because, like, it's always awkward. So, here we are. And I had my goalie pass it to some guy, then... I passed it again, and that was almost a goal, um, an own goal, actually, but luckily for them, they managed to, like, somehow save it, but, you know, they're classic idiots, but, you know, it's all good, but, like, that's the problem, that's really a problem, and as you can see right here, a guy got injured, Kyle Connor and Big Quid, I think, are now getting into a fight. Oh my god, this team with Kyle Connor. Um Kyle Connor, Jeff Skinner, and Andres Lee. It's a major change for us. Like I think it's a major change. And I would like to keep um, Jeff Skinner and Kyle Connor now. Andres Lee, I might keep him, but I sacrificed actually for, I think, Kyle Connor. First round pick and a third round pick. So I might dump Giordano in a, in a trade. So that way I could be like, you know what? 
Okay. Okay, so I can be okay. Like I would need something. So and then right there, I poke checked, and at some point, like I'm gonna like I'm gonna say this here. At some point, I am going to have to um do pro difficulty with like that. That that's just it. so. At one point in season three, when it's over. I'm going to do a challenge on Rookie, I'm going to do a challenge on Semi-Pro, Pro, Pro All-Star, and then Superstar. Now, if I do Superstar, I'm going to have to, like, play, like, just one game of NHL, like, say, ex exhibition match, and some certain team, and who I'm going up against. It's just... It's just how it's going to be, and that's all. So, like, um, now, if you guys want, like, certain video games that I could, like, play, let me know. I'm all for it. Now, right here, like, we're 4 to 0, and... And it's a pretty good score to be around because, like, we're doing well. Like, we're actually doing well. Now, Nilsson is having so far, like, uh, 1 point 100 save percentage in this game, which is pretty impressive. And if I dare say so myself, he's a pretty good goalie with Manson or Mason. I don't know, but, like, man. He's a pretty good, like, guy. He's a pretty good goalie, and that's all it is. Now, icing is not going to be called today, because that's just how it is. And right here, apparently they didn't call, like, charging or whatnot for some reason, but, you know, it's all good, so, yeah. So right here, I planned it. I got a big hit, and it worked. Then I got poke checked. Then, like, I did, like, a body check. Passed it. Passed it to, um, Je uh, Jeff Skinner. Now, yeah, commentary, post commentaries on, um, uh, post commentaries on, like, commentaries on, like, video games, it's really hard. It's, like, really hard to deal. Anyway, right here. Jeff Skinner, no, Kyle Connor, sorry, Kyle Connor got the goal, and that's pretty good, pretty good, my mind, pretty good, because that is, that's the, excuse me, the right direction for this team, it's not hard, it's not easy, but hey, we're doing a good job on my and we're doing it. We're doing amazing. We gotta be successful. This and that, and and everything. So like, yeah, I do like this. And that was almost an own goal, but you know what? I don't think so. <laughs> so Ottawa Senators thought so. Here we are, uh, right here, um, uh, we're just, like, being dominant, like, I could see myself going undefeated unless I put on rookie and everything, and this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on rookie, and then, like, in the last few games, if we're having a good stretch, I would... On, I will put on pro, um, play like a full game, and then everything. So like that way, I don't have to get stretched out, messed up, get like a uh, sort of attack in my head that I some sort of fatigue. It's only gonna be right for the long run. So I don't know what else to do. And right here, a delayed penalty was called. And that was charging. 
because of a uh, an illegal hit, and now it's a five one four mashup, and right here, uh, um, I felt like, oh no, this guy's this bully's not gonna have a perfect game, and right here, boom, we managed to like save it because like like we we decided and right here i managed to do it and it worked so beautifully i did a poke check right there and i slingshotted uh like a shot like a like a goal like shot and right here we have um a very good shout out with a power play in my books so um yeah guys uh we won the game against the ottawa senators in preseason game eight so that should that's fun uh in season two yeah so guys um Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all are delicious in my book, and as for me, I'll see y'all in season two, game one against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Peace!